Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I was in the mood for tacos, so I am making brisket tacos. So before we dive into today's recipe, I'd like to thank all of my viewers and subscribers for all the support you've given my channel. And to the new viewers, I'd like you to remember to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. So let's grab our aprons, let's get our ingredients, and let's make some brisket tacos. For our brisket tacos, we're going to need a three to four pound brisket, beef broth, and your favorite Mexican seasoning. I am using a beef fajita seasoning, but you can use what you like. And we've also cleaned up our brisket a bit and removed some of the fat, but we don't want to remove it all. So the first thing we need to do is get our brisket all seasoned up. So I've got my beef fajita seasoning and we are going to be very heavy handed with our seasoning. And we're also going to be pressing this in. Alright, so we have got our brisket all seasoned up. Now we're going to move this over to a pan. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're moving our brisket to a pan. And normally when you're doing the brisket, you would do the um, fat cap up. But for this recipe, it needs to be facing, it needs to be down. So now we're going to place this into a 350 degree oven for about an hour. All right, so this has been in the oven at 350 for an hour. So now what we need to do is we need to cover this with some foil and just a little kitchen hat. If by any chance uh, your foil is not wide enough to cover your roaster, then what I do is I take two pieces and then fold them together, overlay them, and then make a fold. And that way you have a piece of foil that is large enough for your roaster. So now we need to add in our chickens, our beef broth. And we're going to be doing roughly four cups. Now we're going to take this and we're going to seal it up nice and tight. And you need to be careful because the roaster will be a little warm. So now this is going to go back into the oven and we've lowered this to 300 and we're going to cook this for three to four hours till tender. So this has been going for three hours. So now what we're going to do is we're going to remove our foil and you need to be careful because it's very, very hot. <laughs> and now we want to check our temperature. And we are at just about 200 and 10 degrees. So we are good to go. So we're going to let this sit for about 15 minutes and then we're going to start slicing up. All right, so this has been sitting for 15 minutes and as you can see, it's already pulling apart. So it is ready to go. So what we need to do is cut us up some slices for tacos. And we want to cut against across the grain. And sometimes I have a problem finding. There we go. And we don't want too thick of slices because these are going in tacos. So I'm going to finish cutting this up 
and then once I'm done, we're going to start assembling us some tacos. Everything we need for our tacos, we've got us some refried beans, some salsa, some guacamole, some pico de gallo, and some flour, cor flour tortillas. If you want, you can use corn in place of the flour tortillas. Totally up to you. So we're going to get our tortilla. Going to put us a little bit of refried beans on the bottom. Then we're going to get us a couple of pieces of our brisket. There we go. And a little bit of guacamole. And some pico de gallo. And with a, just a little bit of some homemade salsa. So I'm going to make up some more tacos. And once we're done, we're going to give these a taste test. Okay, so I've made me up some tacos. So now we're going to give these a bite. Mmm. Oh, this is good. These are really good. So, yeah, I'm going to end up eating good today. So, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I want to thank everybody for watching. For all my subscribers and viewers, I want to thank y'all for the support you give my channel. And for my new viewers, I want to say welcome. Hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, I hope you enjoy cooking in the kitchen. So, I'm going to finish up these tacos. And I'll see y'all next time.